82 degrees, Saturday, June 28th, 2014. Sunshine, swirled smiles, movement in my cowboy boots. I switch to aqua elopement pumps across the grass. The plastic covers of my heels disappear into the mud. First look at the pond house. I am behind the door when Chris peeks out to see me in my 20s style rustic dress with layers of champagne dots like blush embroidered braille letters. The music starts. Neutral milk hotel, aeroplane over the sea. Bridesmaids, my sisters, a mix of sea foam, butter yellow, strawberry teal and peach move towards the rock area. Yes, only you from the office finale. All I needed was the love we shared. All I needed for another day. And all I ever knew, only you. I shake and smile bigger than I ever have in my entire life to meet my dad at the white picket fence. He walks me down the aisle. This man who loved my mother but did not hold his vows sacred, who stored a family photo in his suitcase to bring to me, who said he would crawl on his hands and knees if he had to to bring me to you. There is no pain or resentment, only peace and love. I know my mom is in her turquoise dress guiding me. Chris. Our relationship is like the sounds of people making their noises in the world. It is the quiet we share with each other on the sidewalks of New York City. It is as surprising as the city sirens and the whistles in the middle of the afternoon. It is the sun darting in between the skyscrapers like your unexpected charming grin on a warm winter Sunday. It is like the poetic lines from the songs we've heard at late night concerts together. It is one snowflake snowflake on my cheek, startling and unexpected. The best day ever. Hobo girls were married. Tables of mismatched china, flowers and Coca-Cola Coca -Cola containers, aqua-colored glass bottles and tins. I taste short ribs and mashed potatoes, green chili, salmon, vegan lasagna with a side of ginger kale. The green chili is from New Mexico. Family photos and cold Stella beer. My dad and his wife, she's not my mother, but I'm glad she's here. Champagne toast with bring laughter and tears. The girl's brother, Eric, who kept his beard, tells me my mother knows I am in good hands with his family, my family. Joy, rejoice, mother spirit. I look at the braille bracelet on my wrist that says June 28th, 2014, today, tomorrow, love forever. Jennifer and Chris. This is by my mom, Patricia Harmon, um, from our book, uh, Celebrating Sound, which is a compilation of her work and mine, Butterfly. My daughter stoops to catch the butterfly who flits away from her enchanting touch. This movement adds a magic beauty now, her fingers forming wind, wings that kiss the wind. These summer days are like the butterflies. No key will lock the flitting hours. These wings make flight of time. The sun's a dancing friend, inviting flowers and grasshoppers for lunch. In summer, Jennifer has wings to fly, enchanting flowers, bugs, and pennies wish in shopping centers' ponds. No secret dreams in flight, her kisses flutter past my lips. The butterflies, a watercolor blurred in motion. Daughters blur the purple pinks and yellow reds of moving suns at dusk and dawn. Their haste alike, they reach for moons. This butterfly, this Jennifer, untamed, frightened, belly dancers, curtsy grin. Their audience, the sprinklers, grassy hills and mountain tops that reach for clouds like them. To capture them, not possible today. Like breezes, cotton candy, tears, and snow, a morning's hug, an evening's tickle turn around, they've gone adventuring ahead. This butterfly, the children freely fly on life's unending winds, their wings a song. Thank you. Okay. Jennifer Dawn, content, no, happy a bit. I can't place this feeling, I can't put my pen down, my eyes are open. There's no sense in struggling over things I cannot change. My own acceptance, pride for myself, where I've come from, where I'm going. My heart is racing. I feel warmth moving up towards my face. I keep looking up. I'm alone in my room. And for once, it's me and only me I'm thinking about. Thank you.